Just when you thought AI couldn't get any better, we actually have Mark Zuckerberg bringing in more AI announcements. Yama 3.2 is officially here and it's bringing some serious upgrades to the AI world with a range of models that now fit on edge devices, optimized for Qualcomm and MediaTek and offering unprecedented performance for on-device AI. Llama 3.2 is ready to push boundaries, but that's not all. Meta also dropped a ton of exciting updates across their AI ecosystem that you need to know about. So of course, let's first talk about Llama 3.2 and what it actually is. Meet Llama 3.2, which is kind of like Llama 2's supercharged futuristic cousin, or you could call it the complete version of Yama 3. Now, this isn't just an upgrade, it's a massive leap. Now, the two largest models in this new lineup, 11B and 90B, can actually see. And by see, I mean they can do image reasoning. So what does image reasoning actually mean in plain English? Well, imagine you have a graph showing your small business's sales over the year, and you're like, hey, Llama, which month had the best sales? Llama 3.2 can look at that graph, read it like a human and tell you exactly which month was your best. It's not just spitting out data, it's actually reasoning through what it sees, like a really smart friend who knows how to read graphs better than you do, which is remarkable because it's quite rare to actually get open source vision models that are actually even good. Now, what's crazy is the example they've actually shown us here on screen. You can see that they have an image understanding demo, which showcases the vision capabilities of this model. So, First, they upload the image to Llama 3.2. Then we can see the description of the image highlighting its modern open plan layout, the black leather furniture, the central fireplace, and the abstract painting. The overall ambience is described as warm and visually striking. Then we get the detected objects, including the couch, chair, fireplace, coffee table, potted plant, painting, and side table. The user selects the fireplace object to explore alternative options for that design element. Then we get replacement suggestions. The system generates a list of possible replacement fireplaces, each with a detailed description, such as a minimalist wall-mounted electric fireplace with a subtle LED flame, or a, a rustic stone-faced gas fireplace with a traditional charm. Then finally, after selecting the fireplace, the RAG model fetches related images of modern fireplaces. These suggestions align with the user's choice and provide visual inspiration for alternatives. Overall, I think this shows us exactly how vision models can truly elevate the AI experience. And now with this becoming open source, there's going to be a lot more experiences coming our way. So now let's take a look at some of the benchmarks for the model called Llama 3.2. And I'm not going to lie, these benchmarks are actually quite surprising for a model of its size. It truly is baffling to how quickly these models that are open source are actually catching up to their closed sourced counterparts. Firstly, let's take a look at what Meta themselves have actually said about these models. They say that our evaluation suggests that the Llama 3.2 vision models are competitive with leading foundation models, Claude 3 Haiku and GPT-40 Mini on image recognition and a range of visual understanding tasks. The 3B model outperforms the Gemma 2 2.6B and Phi 3.5 Mini models on tasks such as following instructions, summarization, prompt rewriting and tool use while the 1B is competitive with Gemma. So when we first actually take a look at these models, we can see that they are quite impressive for their respective classes. And by respective classes, I mean that you can't really compare these Llama 3.2 models to the state of the art models like GPT-40 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet because they are much larger in size. So looking at this table of vision instruction tuned benchmarks, let's break it down and dive deep into what's actually going on here with Llama 3.2, particularly the 11B and 90B models and how they stack up against models of their respective size, like Claude 3 Haiku and GPT-40 Mini. If you're not familiar with these benchmarks, it doesn't really matter. I'll explain them as we go along. Now, I've got to be honest, upon further inspection, these benchmarks are a little bit deceiving, not majorly deceiving, but the color scheme makes it seem that Llama 3.2 outperforms these other models on every single benchmark, which isn't entirely true. Don't get me wrong, the model is actually great, but it's just something to be aware of. So let's look at the MMMU Pro, which is mathematical reasoning with vision. This benchmark evaluates the models on their ability to reason through complex multimodal mathematical problems that involve both text and visual data. Here, Llama 3.2's 90B model scores 45.2, a significant lead over Claude 3 Haiku's 27.3, and slightly ahead of GPT-40 Mini's 42.3. This is a critical win because it shows Llama 3.2's superiority in handling mathematical reasoning where visual elements like graphs or diagrams play a role. This could be particularly useful in educational tools where understanding and explaining visual math problems is essential and Llama is showing it can outperform competitors in this area. 
Next, let's take a look at another key area, which is the Math Vista. So Math Vista is another test where models are tasked with reasoning through mathematical visuals like graphs, diagrams, or even hand-drawn figures. Here, Llama 3.2's 90B model scores 57.3, beating Claude 3 Haiku's 46.4 and GPT-40 Mini's 56.7. While GPT-40 Mini stays competitive, Llama 3.2 still edges it out. This difference might seem small, but in high stakes fields like finance or scientific research, even a slight advantage in understanding complex visual data can make a huge impact. Llama 3.2's consistent performance shows it's better equipped for these types of reasoning tasks. One of the standout areas for Llama 3.2 is its performance in Chart QA, a benchmark where the models need to answer questions based on visual charts and graphs. The 90B model scores 85.5, comfortably surpassing Claude 3 Haiku's 81.7, with strikingly GPT-40 Mini not even being listed here. This win is huge because understanding and interpreting charts is a key skill in real-world applications. Whether it's in business analytics, scientific research, or any field that deals with data visualization, the ability to correctly analyze and interpret chart data is a crucial capability. Llama 3.2's stronger performance means it can more accurately respond to questions about visualized data, making it highly valuable for these use cases. In the AI2 diagram benchmark, Llama 3.2 once again pulls ahead with the 90B model scoring 92.3, while Claude 3 Haiku scores 86.7 and GPT-40 Mini doesn't even have a score listed. This benchmark is about understanding complex diagrams such as technical or scientific illustrations. Llama 3.2's performance here demonstrates its superior ability to analyze and reason through visual data. This has big implications for industries like engineering, healthcare, and education, where understanding diagrams is a fundamental skill. Llama's Edge here means it can better interpret these kinds of visuals, providing more accurate insights or explanations, which could be used in anything from diagnosing medical conditions to helping students understand technical concepts. Now here's the thing, Llama 3.2 isn't just a vision addition to the model, it's another iteration of Llama 3, which actually improves in areas like text also, which was quite surprising to me, considering the amount of things Meta is doing with AI. Now if we look at the text benchmarks, we can see that in the MMLU, general knowledge, the Llama 370B model scores 82, while Llama 3.2's 90B pushes higher at 86, reflecting better general knowledge and comprehension. Math, mathematical reasoning, Llama 3.2's 90B model scores 68, significantly improving upon the Llama 370B score. Four, this highlights how the 90B model handles complex mathematical tasks with greater accuracy. GPOQA, reasoning. In reasoning tasks, Llama 3.2 90B scores 46.7, showing a clear improvement over Llama 370B's 39.5, making it better at following instructions and solving reasoning problems. In short, Llama 3.2's 90B model outperforms the 70B model in text-based tasks, particularly in areas like math, multilingual capabilities, and general knowledge, making it a more powerful model for handling a broader range of challenges with greater accuracy. For whatever reason, they decided not to compare Llama 3 to Llama 3.2. Now here's where we get onto a part of the video that is rather unfortunate. For those of you who are like me and you're living in a region where there are tough regulations, unfortunately, this model is currently unavailable to you. For example, if you currently live in the EU or in the UK, you won't be able to access this model. And the worst thing about it is that I've actually tried to use this model in their online browser with a VPN, and it just doesn't work. Quite the frustrating time to be someone who's trying to cover all the relevant AI announcements when your nation is regulated to hell. Hopefully in the future, they decide to relax these regulations on models that clearly aren't a threat to anyone. Now, luckily for you, this video doesn't have to end on a bad note. Meta actually did announce something called Orion. This was actually an insane announcement because this is a hardware project that seems really promising. About a decade ago, I uh, you know, started putting together a team of the best people in the world to, uh, to build these glasses. And the, the requirements are actually pretty simple. But the technical challenges to make them are insane. Um, you know, they, they need to be glasses. They're not a headset, no wires, less than 100 grams. Uh, they need wide field of view, holographic displays, sharp enough to pick up details, <laughs> bright enough to see in different lighting conditions, large enough to display a cinema screen or multiple monitors for working wherever you go, whether you're, you're in a coffee shop or on a plane or wherever you are. 
and you need to be able to see through them. And people need to be able to see that through them too and make eye contact with you. Right? This isn't pass through. This is the physical world with holograms overlaid on it. So if someone messages you, uh, you will see that. And instead of having to pull out your phone, there will just be a little hologram and with a few subtle gestures, you can reply without getting pulled away from the moment. Or if you want to be with someone who is far away, um, they're going to be able to teleport as a hologram into your living room as if they're right there with you. You're going to be able to tap your fingers and bring up a game of cards or chess or holographic ping pong or whatever it is that you want to do together. You can work or play or whatever. Build so let me know what you think about the AI hardware area. I think this is one of the most promising areas for AI since it actually brings AI into the daily world for regular individuals that could benefit from it on a day-to-day -day basis. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think 